Hey folks, Logan Wells here with Dream Guitars, and I have yet another fantastic example of Michi Matsuda's handwork uh, in the shop today. This is a 2023 M1 model. Uh, we're calling it the Maritime M1 because it has a series of nautical inlays here on, at the rosette and across the fingerboard, and of course a striking blue um, sunburst well, finish Excuse me, um, on the top, sides, and the back. Also at the back of the headstock, um, yeah. Bunch of cool stuff going on with this particular guitar. So this was a custom client commission um, and he really wanted to go for this compass here for the rosette. And we also have the earth inlaid here uh, into the fingerboard covered with stars. And um, all the inlay work is done by the one and only Larry Robinson, which also ties in nicely with the abalone that we have for the top trim, which is the thing I don't see on a whole lot of Michi's guitars. This is one of the most, um, one of the more abalone-ed Matsudas out there, um, at least in my experience which is really cool. <laughs> so I love the way the blue top, um, that finish really sets off that blue abalone in kind of a different way um, than I normally see abalone pop, which that's just really kind of cool. It almost brings out more of a greenish hue with that um, shell. It's really cool stuff. Mm. So getting into it a little bit, um, the wood portion of the rosette and the fingerboard and the bridge are all Amazon rosewood, which is very nice. Um, of course we have north facing up towards the player in the player's position on this one. So I guess the cardinal direction north is you, <laughs> as it were. Uh, the top is Italian spruce, the back and sides are fantastically figured maple, which we'll get around to right now. Uh, like I said, it's nice figuring throughout and a good bit of chatoyance coming through. So going back to that maritime nautical theme, um, you know, there's the blue rippling effect here with all that maple definitely gives you a three-dimensional water um, effect, which Ah, that looks so cool. <laughs> Other details include Michi's um, carved contours for his heel, and I love the way he integrates kind of the heel cap like this. Uh, hardly anyone else does that, and I don't think anyone does it quite as well as Michi does. It's just so gorgeous. And like the, the lines at the top and the edges, the way it kind of comes down, and there's a slight ledge in here on both sides. Ah, it's just really cool. Yeah. And then also the, the trim and the bindings here are also in Amazon Rosewood. Neck profile, um, as we come up the neck, uh, you'll see it's got a dark stain to it, sort of middle of the road thickness. Um, feels very comfortable in hand for me, with big hands here. Uh, the headstock is a new profile for him. So this is his four by two, so four tuners and two tuners. And it's a pierced headstock. So there's a, there we go, a section right there and there's a little hole there in the middle. And he actually created something like an inverse burst here. So it's a little bit of a deeper, more azure hue here and it gets lighter as it goes out, which is just really cool. Coming around to the front, um, Michi put in a few slivers of maple and some of the purflanes to follow that headstock profile, which just looks great. And then of course, as we come up the fingerboard, we have all of those stars and then that earth, uh, earth map inlay, which is really cool. So yeah, this is a great example of um, a modern maker and doing a custom client commission, uh, you know, top tier of the game, as it were. So if you want to commission something like this yourself, or you want to learn more about Michi's guitars, give us a shout, we'd love to chat. Cheers.